I'm Sydney Padinsky, and today we're going to be discovering and discussing pinhole cameras, what they are, how they work, and how we can create our own developer and stopper solutions here at home. Technically, any container can be turned into a pinhole camera, given that it doesn't allow any light inside of the container once it is sealed. For example, I have one that's made out of a tin for chocolates, one that is a tin for art supplies, and my personal favorite, a can of coffee grinds. If you really enjoy pinhole photography, I would highly recommend upgrading to a proper pinhole camera. This one is specifically designed that when you open it at the back, you're able to take out the insert, put in your photosensitive paper, load it back in, and then when you are ready, expose your image by uncorking the top. How pinhole cameras work is by once you open the aperture or the hole here, the light then goes through the hole and projects a negative onto the photosensitive paper that is needed to create these images. One might think it will create a perfect image of exactly what is in front of it, but contrary to popular belief, it actually is going to be upside down due to an effect called camera obscura. We're going to be creating our own developer solutions here with things that we have in our kitchen or homes. These are also referred to as caffeinol solutions, like the one I'm about to give you a recipe for. Most importantly, you need something in your developer solution that contains cathic acid. This can be found in coffee, oregano, basil, and mint, for example. Today in my solution, we're going to be using mint. This developer solution is a reductant and it converts the silver ions that are in your photosensitive paper to silver to create your actual negative. Once you have created your negative, you need to stop this reaction in order to hang it and process it. This we're going to do through a stopper solution. For a stopper solution, you need something acidic. This creates an acid-based chemical solution. The acid neutralizes the alkaline chemical reaction we created at the beginning when we put our negatives in the developer solution. For our developer solution, there are two parts. So this is going to have 10 grams dried mint. You can use loose leaf. I prefer the tea bags because then it's less for me to strain at the end. You're then going to take 200 milliliters of hot water and steep the mint for 15 minutes. After it has been steeped, you're going to strain it into a new container so that you can prepare to mix it into your photo tray. The second part to the solution is 2000 milligrams of vitamin C tablets. I personally prefer to crush them up in a mortar and pestle so it makes it easier to dissolve into the water when you mix it in. You're going to take 200 milliliters of water, mix it in with your vitamin C tablet, and then 10 grams of baking soda. You're going to mix all of this into your second part of your solution and let it sit for 10 minutes to let the bubbles settle. Once both solutions are settled, you're going to put them together into your photo tray and there you have it, your developer solution. After that, we need to create our stopper solution. And there are a couple different ways that you can go about this. How I personally like to do it is about 400 milliliters of water and then 15 to 25 milliliters of lemon juice. You also can use vinegar. Before we can expose our image, the first thing we have to do is load our pinhole camera with the photosensitive paper. Remember, you have to do this in your dark room in order to not expose your photo before you want to. This is why photographers use a dark room. I was able to turn my bathroom into a dark room by taking a $4 light from the dollar store that was LED and projected RGB, red, green, blue, and selected the red setting. Now that our developer and stopper solution has been created and we have our photosensitive paper loaded into our actual camera, it's time to expose the photo. I'm using a light setup that I have and sitting for 10 minutes. All of this varies from the size of the aperture to the amount of light you have. There are many different websites that can help you calculate exactly how long you need to expose your paper for and I will include them in the links below. Once your image is exposed, you're going to go to your darkroom so that you can actually develop your negatives. First, we start with our developer solution. Personally, I like to let my solution sit for at least 15 to 20 minutes. You can keep an eye on it and judge it yourself. Some people might say five minutes is only necessary. I'd like to say it depends on the paper and it depends on how much light actually got in when you were photographing with your pinhole camera. After your negative has developed, 
you're then going to take it and put it into your stopper solution for at least a minute. I like to put it for at least two. Once you've finished all of that, you can hang it up. What I did was take a piece of string, tie it to my curtain rod, and then to my shower head. So I was able to clip all of my negatives up and let them dry. Now that you have your negatives, the final step is photographing or scanning them, taking them into any photo editor software you'd like, and inverting the image to give you your final photo. Thank you everybody for your time today. I hope you enjoyed this project and lesson, and I hope you enjoyed and fall in love with pinhole photography even more. This is Sydney Dinsky. Have a wonderful day. Mm -hmm. Thank mm -hmm. you.